Coops on tour, Coops on tour, Coops on tour. So this week we are going to be camping at Skegness Leisure Water Park. Uh, it's near uh, Skegness. It's the 50p toll bridge. Right. Thank you. <laughs> and here we are, Skegness Water Leisure Park. All visitors go to the left. Arrivals check in. Thank you very much. That man's got a man bag. <laughs> so it gives you a bit of a weather forecast there, just in case you haven't got the internet and you don't know what the weather's going to do. And you've got a bit of a map there as well. And some lovely phone numbers to ring if you get really bored at night. Oh, he's got a pub. Nice reception building there. Liz has just gone in to check us in. It's all paid for, so nothing to worry about there. Thank you. Right, Xander, we finally arrived. Are you excited? Yeah. Well, we at least look like you're excited. I am excited. Do an excited face then. <coughs> That's a poo face. Right, so we're being guided to our uh, pitch up location. Is we've got to follow this guy in the little golf buggy. Oh, we're beeping because we haven't got our seat belts on. We're being very naughty. naughty so we've got an electric hookup and a tent for the three of us. So let's see where he takes us. Just like that, the tent is up. It only takes about five minutes, it's inflatable. That means it's got air inside of it. So this campsite has a random hill in the middle of it. Um, interesting fact about this hill, if you walk up the hill, you're actually higher up in the air than if you were and you didn't walk up the hill. Interesting fact. Hi, my name's Andy and this is my first drink. Oh. So this campsite actually also has an airstrip, which is a bit odd, because you could be sat there drinking your vodka and cola, and an aircraft comes and lands right next to you. It's all a bit weird. Well, there's Xander off to the shop to get some milk. Look out, Xander, there's a tree. Hi, my name's Andy, and I think this is my sixth Drink. Hi, this is, my name is Xander. I think this is my second or third drink. One of the two. The barbecue is now lit. If you want to make a burger, you've got to kill a cow. This is Andy and this is his 11th drink. Alright then, Xander. How many have you had? Very breezy today. We're going to ride a train. Hello. Sander, are you excited for riding the train? Yeah. How excited? Out of ten? Uh, nine. Nine? Hold it over the side like that when I say so. Yeah. Okay, go
back of the train is now the front of the train. There's a small on-site shop as well, but we found it to be rather understocked. Uh, I, this morning, we tried to buy some bacon and we ended up sucking on sausages instead. Nice little heads up there if you're a dog owner. Obviously, you don't want to let your dog exercise on the runway when there's aircraft landing and taking off. The on-site bar is really nice. Uh, very spacious. They've got a little arcade area in it. And you can also have a drink next to the play park, which is suitable for up to 12 years old, but we find it to be rather small for Xander. So it seems that our neighbour's car's headlights come on every single time they open the boot and this occurred throughout most of the night. The toilets and the showers were clean enough but we found them to be slightly out of date, a bit dated. I think I need a bit of money spending on them so that's probably the biggest letdown of the park. So Xander, what would you rate this holiday park out of 10? I'd rate it 8.5. And there's two reasons for it. Yeah. The toilets, for starters, because they're a bit out of date. And the second reason, I think they can do better in the park. Do you think the park wasn't good enough? No. It the was for smaller they... kids, wasn't it? Mm. And the park before it was better. Before they built the new one? Yeah. Um, I would rate it thrifty out of 100. That's thrifty. Coops on door. <laughs> <laughs>